<clears throat> Shut up, I'm fucking hungry. Oh. This is a review for something completely different, but we're gonna get some chips. Damn, I ain't stepping on your feet, but it's ripples. For 99 cents, who can you? You can't beat that. There's no way. Let's get into it. All right. So, guys, I'm back again. Excuse me, I had to clear my mouth. Finish them chips up. Um, I'm here to do a review. I, I can't do an unboxing because I already opened it, but whatever. Um, review for the Euphoria. There's a Behringer Euphoria UMC 202 HD. All right, and this is a, a audio interface. And let me just tell you guys a little bit background about why I got this. Um, on top of doing um, tech videos, um, I also do podcasts. Um, I like to record them uh, with my phone and then at least at least have uh, myself and one other person to discuss different issues. Um, but I thought it prudent, you know, for, for Poo and PC and for Poo and Pod, that's the podcast, um, I thought it made sense to have uh, an interface that would make it a little bit easier um, for me to record audio. Um, before what I was doing, I bought... Um, Two of my, um, what are these, 2100 ATR, whatever. I bought two of these mics that are basically have XLR and USB, and I was just plugging them both into the PC, and that wasn't the business. It was way tougher than it had to be. Um, so a friend of mine was like, dude, you need an audio interface. Get that shit. Hurry up. And I was like, boom, I'm getting this. I looked on eBay, which is my first stop, either eBay or Amazon, and I saw this for $59.99 free shipping um, and everything else that was like um, that was like started like starter packs or whatever starter um, audio interfaces were like 80 to to $100 so I was like good deal I'm with it I bought it and I got it and it came in this beautiful box um, I'm not going to act like I know anything about audio or any of that kind of stuff but I'm just going to read what it says on top of the box it says audio file 2 by 2 24 bit 192 kilohertz USB audio interface with um, Midas mic preamplifiers. Basically, I don't know what any of that means. I'm going to tell you what that means to me um, because hopefully or possibly you guys know nothing about audio, um, hoo ha, um, wording, and all that kind of good stuff either. And I can just tell you what all this stuff does. So, um, this is what came in the box. Um, it's a small, uh, small box and it's, it's, it's kind of, it's kind of pretty. It's sexy. It has an all metal case. Um, it feels really solid. I feel good putting this into my backpack without putting it in a case or whatever. And I'm pretty confident that I'll get to where I'm supposed to be and it'll still be intact. Um, on the front of the device, um, you just have, you have two XLR, um, jacks, which, um, on here, you can either do two mics or a mic and an instrument or two instruments or whatever you need to do. Um, but it has selector buttons for those different things. Like I'm doing most of what I'm doing is line in. So it has a line and instrument button. So you can pop those in and out just because they're the audio that comes from those devices is a little bit different, I guess. And then there's also a pad button, which I'm told um, helps you to muffle down the sound. Like if it's coming out really hot. Like if the sound is way too loud and you can't control it off of this, you hit the pad button and that drops down the sound a little bit more. Um, and then for each line, um, whether that be instrument or um, or mic, uh, there's a gain switch. So like when people are doing check, check, one, two, check, 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 uh, 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 that's there. There's some dude, there's some bald white dude in the corner. Um, playing with the gain dial to make their volumes the right, um, the right, the right temperature, if you will. Um, and then, additionally, it has a jack for your headphone. That's why sometimes y'all see me with the headphones on in the videos because I want to direct monitor what I'm recording. Sometimes I get a little animated, I start talking wild, I get a little Brooklyn, and then I move away from the mic. So the headphones keep me 
on task to stay near the mic. At some point, I'll get on that live game, and I'll have some interns. Y'all just stay tuned. That's like eight years down the road. Throw on here, you have your output sw um, volume switch. Um, that's how much volume you're sending out from this box to whatever you're recording on. How I record is that since this is a USB interface, um, I go take the U USB straight to my laptop, record in Audacity, um, and and then I can just control how much of that volume is going into the system. And then it also has a, a volume switch for the headphones and a direct monitor button. So if I want to plug directly into the box, I can do that. Now, the only thing I have to say is that if you do plug straight in, you're going to need the adapter. Um, I don't even know what size these are or what these are called, but I always know like when I went to grandma's house back in the day, like you always needed one of these because like you couldn't just plug into her old hi-fi um, uh, set with just a regular headset. So you throw this right, you throw this little gold thing in there and throw your, your headset into that and you easy peasy ready to go. Um, on the back, you got the USB in. The nice thing about this is that it has no power switch. I mean, there's no um, power adapter. Um, the power straight over USB, USB 2.0. Um, so you pop that right in there and then it's got a 48 volt off on. I don't know what that does. Apparently it gives it more power, more punch. Um, and then lastly, it has two outputs. So if you want to, if you like wanted to plug in your two, uh, 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 speakers that you already have at the crib or something like that, you can plug them into here and hear what you're recording. But that's why I do direct monitors. So I don't have to worry about that, but I will say this, I'll put the link in, down in the description below, but um, this is definitely like a nice piece, you know, just for starting off, you know, I'm not trying to spend any crazy money, um, doing YouTube videos, you know, I'm not trying to break the bank, but this is a hobby and this is something that I'm into. So I'm willing to drop a little coin. Uh, and this was for only $60 or, um, yeah, $60 wasn't bad. Um, Happy I purchased it, and um, you guys might want to get one too. I think the other one is like a red one or a scarlet or some some I don't know what the name of it is. I'll put the link for that one too. But that one is I think it's like eighty or a hundred dollars on Amazon, and I was like I'm definitely not buying that. Um, I gotta buy sandwiches and cigarettes. You know what I'm saying? So anyway, that's my review. I'm gonna give this a um, I'm gonna give this a high five. This is getting a high five. I don't know. I'm still trying to work out my like my reward system. Like Dame Dame drops has like five all the way live or something like that. I'm um, I guess I'll give it a high five. I don't know. We'll work that out. I'm just trying to test the video. I want to know if you can see me. I want to know if you can feel me. I want to know if you can hear it. If you can see it.